Hi, my name is Ron Pinkerton. Welcome to Performing Pre-Upgrade Tasks. This is the second in a series of eight videos about upgrading Oracle SOA Suite to 12C. If you haven't yet seen the overview video, take a look at that one first. It'll give you a high-level introduction to the entire upgrade process that I think you'll find useful. In this video, we'll talk about the requirements for upgrading to Oracle SOA Suite 12C and some tasks you'll need to perform beforehand. The first task you need to perform prior to the upgrade is to review the documentation. There's a wealth of information to guide you in the specific needs of your upgrade. The document titled Planning an Upgrade of Oracle Fusion Middleware introduces Oracle Fusion Middleware 12C to experienced 11G users and explains, among other things, where to get product distributions and upgrade tools. It describes in detail the supported upgrade starting points so you can determine if your version of SOA can be upgraded if your operating system is supported, your database, your topology, and so on. It provides detailed information on what to do to bring your environment into a supported upgrade starting point. You can then read about recommended backup and recovery strategies, as well as what to do to prepare your Oracle databases for 12C. As its name suggests, the Interoperability and Compatibility Guide helps you to determine whether various Oracle Fusion middleware components of different versions or releases will work together in a supported configuration. For example, certain components in your environment may need to be updated before you upgrade to SOA Suite 12C. This document will guide you through the process of identifying relevant components, determining version information, and avoiding specific interoperability and compatibility issues. There are a lot more documents than the two we just mentioned, in fact, there's a set of web pages that organizes the 1213 documents to make it easier to find what you need. This is the Upgrade and Patch tab of the Install, Patch, and Upgrade page for 1213. It includes links to help you plan, execute, and troubleshoot your upgrade. The Install tab links to resources to help you install your development environment, your production environment, and additional products. The Books tab provides access to 1213 books that address administration, concepts, installation, interoperability, and upgrade and patching. Each title is available in a variety of formats. Of particular interest to us in this conversation are the books in the Upgrade and Patching section. Notice that there is an upgrade guide dedicated to upgrading SOA Suite and Business Process Management. Finally, you can access the release notes from the Common Tasks page. Release notes include late-breaking issues that may not always be documented elsewhere. Throughout these videos, we'll provide links to documentation on specific topics, but we highly recommend a careful reading of the relevant documentation before you begin your upgrade. After you've reviewed the documentation and verified that your environment meets the system, certification, compatibility, and interoperability requirements, the next task is to create a complete backup of your 11G environment, including the database. Remember that much of the upgrade occurs in place, making changes to your existing installation that can't be undone. So if anything goes wrong, you'll need a full backup to be able to restore your environment and try the upgrade again. There are a number of additional pre-upgrade tasks that are critical to perform at this stage. If you're using a 32-bit operating system, Upgrade to a 64-bit environment. Verify it's working properly. Create and upgrade a test copy of your production environment. The threads configurations in SOA 11G aren't carried over to 12C because 12C has shifted over to work managers for the most part. So read the SOA tuning guide, revisit your tuning settings, especially the work manager settings for SOA. Tuning's an iterative process where you tune, run benchmarks, and then retune. So to minimize downtime, determine your tuning setting changes on this test system and then apply those settings to your production system after upgrade. To save time migrating 11G data to 12C, purge any instance data that you no longer need to maintain. The upgrade will overwrite some startup scripts and configuration files. Save a copy of any customized files before you upgrade so you can reapply those customizations after the upgrade's finished. These tasks and others are important for you to consider before you begin the upgrade in earnest. As you may recall from the overview video, file-based policy stores are not supported in 12C. So if you have one, 
You need to create a database-based repository and reassociate your policy store with that new repository. You'll then need to back up your environment one more time. So you've reviewed the documentation and ensured that your environment met the requirements. You've done a full backup. And performed a few other tasks to prepare your environment for the upgrade. If you previously had a file-based policy store, you've upgraded that to a database-based store and taken another backup. Now, you're ready for the last of the pre-upgrade tasks, installing the Fusion Middleware 12C infrastructure and SOA software. In the next video, Installing 12C Software, we'll discuss and demonstrate the software installation routine. Until then, I'm Ron Pinkerton. Thank you for your time and attention.